Hi everybody, on this episode I visit Interlaken in the Bern Canton which is the adventure capital of Switzerland. If you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and open notifications to be informed about new travel videos from all around the world. Interlaken is a traditional resort town in the mountainous Bernese Oberland region of central Switzerland. Built on a narrow stretch of valley, between the emerald-colored waters of Lake Thun and Lake Brienz, it has old timber houses and parkland on the either side of the Aare River. Its surrounding mountains with dense forests, alpine meadows and glaciers has numerous hiking and skiing trails. Interlaken doesn't have its own airport and the nearest airport is the International Airport in Bern. Getting to Interlaken from Bern takes 45 minutes by car and an hour and a half by train. Alternatively, you can also travel to Zurich Airport and from there you can take a train from airport directly to Interlaken. Interlaken is where those seeking a thrill go. It's known as the adventure capital of Switzerland and adrenaline junkies are sure to love it. Whether you are into river rafting or canyoning, skydiving or bungee jumping, you will find your particular rush here. An assemblage of Augustinian monks established themselves in the region in 1130 and the city was founded in 1133. The tourist industry began its conquest of Interlaken as early as 1690 when some Brandenburgers began traversing the mountainous region. By the early 19th century, a stream of romantic artists and writers were seeking inspiration for their odes to nature and the infinite in the Interlaken region. If you are looking for an adrenaline pumping experience, then look no further than the Interlaken helicopter skydiving, which is 2 hours experience. If you are in Interlaken, Paragliding is a must for stunning Swiss landscape and taking waves of the Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau mountains. There are many hiking trails to explore around Interlaken and by walking or biking along with them, you will be able to take in the stunning scenery. Lake Thun is a popular destination for boat trips and there are several different kind of boats to select. Another great option for boat tours is Lake Brienz which is known for its clear blue waters which make for some stunning waves. Harder Kulm is a great place to take in the waves of the two lakes that surround the city and get some fresh air. Traveling to Interlaken in the winter is a great way to enjoy the winter weather and hit the slopes. Hohebeck is the main street in Interlaken and is a great place to find souvenirs and try the local cuisine. If you are looking to get a feel for the true atmosphere of Interlaken, one of the best things to do is take a walking tour of the old town. The St. Beatus Caves are a series of caves located in Wittenberg, Switzerland and are an easy trip from Interlaken city center via bus. Iseltwald is situated on the banks of the Lake Brienz and is known for its picturesque landscapes and stunning mountain views. Well-preserved Thun Castle is a must-see and dates back to the 12th century. The Eiger is one of the most iconic mountains in Switzerland and it's also one of the most popular climbing destinations in the world. They trip to another popular nearby locations like Grindelwald, Lauterbrunnen, Adelboden, Lunger and Jungfraujo is very easy from Interlaken. The Funky Chocolate Club offers daily workshops to sweeten your stay in the holiday region Interlaken. 
There are many water sports offer adventurous canoeing and kayaking experience with stunning scenery of both Thun and Brian's lakes in Interlaken. Being in Switzerland, one thing you have to purchase is a Swiss army knife and Swiss Knife Center has various pocket knife, hunting knives, army knives and other multipurpose along with skizzors and manukar sets as well. They also sell souvenirs and do free name engravings. Swiss chocolates are one of the highest quality chocolates in the world and Swiss chocolate chalet sells authentic Swiss chocolates and you can buy a variety of chocolate bars, truffles, praline, etc. for yourself or to take home for your family and friends. One of the oldest shops in Interlaken which was established in 1888 and located in Hohewek sells the finest handicraft watches which belongs to reputed brands such as Rolex, Tagoyer, Tissot, Karl Buscherer, Chopard and so on along with a variety of gemstone ornaments and jewelry. Modern Swiss dishes and international classics are combined in the La Teresa Brasserie menu of the Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa. India Village Restaurant is located near the Aira River in a strategic position close to the main attractions of the town. Korean barbecue restaurant Aira, situated close to the river in the town center, is one of the best places to eat in Interlaken if you like Asian cuisine. Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa is a Polish 19th century hotel which is 7 minute walking distance away from Interlaken West Station. Dating from 1491, Hotel Interlaken is renowned with a modern vibe which is 6 minute walk from Interlaken Ost train station. Interlaken Youth Hostel is located beside Interlaken Ost train station which offer budget accommodation in the area. Interlaken hotels range from 50 euro to 300 euro per night with an average of 150 euro while most vacation rentals will cost 200 to 500 euro per night for the entire home. The average of a 7 day trip to Interlaken is 1600 euro for a solo traveler, 3000 euro for a couple and 5500 euro for a family of 4. Depending on activities, I recommend budgeting at least 50 to 100 euro per person per day for transportation and enjoying local restaurants. The best time to visit Interlaken is during the summer from June to September. The temperature lingers around a pleasant 18 to 20 degree. It is the perfect time for aimless walks, trekking, mountaineering and adventure activities. Interlaken is absolutely worth visiting if you are traveling in Switzerland. The city is nestled between two beautiful lakes, so not only does it offer gorgeous views all around, but also a plethora of fun things to do any time of the year. Whether you are going to Switzerland in the summer or winter, you can enjoy your days with a full of fun in Interlaken. The Scheinige Platte is a small mountain ridge and a viewpoint in the Bernese Highlands which has a picturesque terrain and has lots of trails leading to the various spots. Thun is one of the most original towns in Switzerland with its picturesque castle and quiet medieval center is wealth worth a visit. Bern is a medieval city that features fountains, cobble streets, unique monuments and a well-preserved old town that has since been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 
Lauterbrunn and Valle is one of the most popular destinations in Switzerland, boosting glacial waterfalls, hiking trails, ski slopes, dramatic cliffs, and quiet villages. Grindelwald, a village in Switzerland's Bernays Alps, is a popular gateway for the Jungfrau region with skiing in the winter and hiking in summer. Adelboden is a lovely little village which is known for the Adelboden Lang Ski Resort, which managed to attract countless skiers and snowboarders to the region. Kandersteg is a famous Swiss village with its hiking trails and skiing resorts which is nestled in the Seinic Valley in the Swiss Alps and located very close to Blausi and Ostinensi lakes. Iseltwald is a small fishing village that is situated on the edge of the Lake Brienz and famous photo spot with its picturesque castle inside the lake. Wengen is the quintessential alpine town boasting wooden chalets, modest whitewashed churches and Belle Epoque hotels surrounded by mountain pines. Whether you do or not skiing, Manlian offers a wide range of exciting experiences all year round. Lungern is a village and a popular photo spot with its picturesque turquoise-colored natural lake and green landscape. The Harder Kulm is a viewpoint at 1322 meters which offers a spectacular panorama and sights with its famous restaurant at the top. Oberhofen is a popular touristic village on the shores of Lake Thun with its picturesque Oberhofen castle. Nestled between hills and vineyards and dominated by a magnificent castle, Spies on Lake Thun is an inviting destination indeed. Kleine Scheidegg is one of the most famous mountain passes in the Swiss Alps, both for its impressive views and ski resorts. Jungfraujo is the highest accessible point in Europe up to a staggering 3,454 meter high thanks to its Centennial Railway which was inaugurated in 1912. If you like my Interlaken Switzerland video, I would like to see your likes, comments and subscription to my channel for the new travel videos from all around the world. See you!